shall reflect on the life of Saint John Capistran, born on the 24th of June 1386 at Capistrano in the Abruzzi mountains. This saint studied both civil and canon law at Perugia with great success and at the age of 27 was appointed governor of Perugia then part of the papal states he was successful in combating civil corruption but when the city was captured by the Malatesta in 1416 John who went to entreat for peace was cast into a dungeon where he began to consider seriously the state of his own soul on his release he made up his mind to abandon the world entirely in obedience to saint francis the assisi who had appeared to him in a dream at the age of 31 getting his non-consummated marriage to the daughter of the count of San Valentino Anald John became a Franciscan friar on the 4th of October 1415 Saint Bernardin of Siena whose great eloquence had just become manifest was his principal teacher and guide and one of his fellow students was Saint James of the Marches who like himself a former law student was to support him throughout the next 40 years in his missionary labors and in the reform of the strict observant order John accompanied Bernardin on his missionary journeys before being ordained priest in 1425 whereafter his outstanding preaching took him to the principal cities of Italy where the largest churches could not contain his hearers who numbered some 20,000 to 30,000 spilling over into the open squares when he preached in latin an interpreter would render the vernacular for the benefit of the unlettered great miracles accompanied his preaching his fame spreading further abroad on one occasion being asked to sign the cross over 2000 sick like his mentor bernardin of siena he propagated devotion to the holy name of jesus his strong christian optimism driving him to battle problems at all levels with the confidence emanating from a deep faith in christ appointed papal inquisitor in 1426 he vehemently countered the confusion being spread by the erroneous fraticelli doctrines especially in southern italy and sicily in 1443 he was elected minister general of the observance and from 1439 he was sent repeatedly abroad as legate by four successive popes after the fall of constantinople in 1453 he emerged as the leading spirit in uniting christian princes against the turks to save hungary and all europe at the pope's command he also preached the crusade among the hungarian people so that thousands flocked to the colors decisively defeating the enemy at belgrade in spite of overwhelming odds he breathed his last on the 23rd of october 1456 and was canonized by pope alexander the 8th on the 16th of october 1690